Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Mariel. We are at the Golden Nugget RV Park in Anchorage. And I like this park. It's got 5G network, which essentially means all my uploads only took 15 minutes. That would normally take three hours or when I'm throttled down eight hours, 15 minutes. We were also able to open up Netflix and watch Netflix last night. They put on a lot of new shows in the past month that we haven't been able to get Netflix. It's wonderful. I love this 5G network. Fabulous. Okay, it's 30 amps. Full hookups, sewer, water, water, water pressure is good. I did do laundry this morning. And we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you over there. We're at the back of the RV park, as you can see by the fence. And I backed in again with the help of Mark. Thank you, Mark, if you're watching this. I'm getting a little bit more proficient, but still need a little bit more confidence. Uh, good spacing between the RVs, where you could park your car, and then the RV. However, the road is really narrow. And it's not in an angle. It should be angled. So it's easy in and out. They didn't do that. It's straight on. Which makes it a little bit difficult for the big rigs, even though it's a pass-through, to pass through. It be angled. Okay, we're next to the trash can. This is where we meet. Having dinner tonight. Part of the tour. I don't know how she does it she feeds over 50 close to 50 people okay this is the men's restroom it looks fairly clean and shower facilities over here they've got chairs oh there's four of them that's decent looking I do like the little park area settings that they have around the park okay this is the laundry room on this along this wall it's all the dryers which is seven and a half minutes for one quarter so you can time it for as long as you want and washer the washing machine is 225 and they're scattered throughout the room there's lots of washing machines, which is really nice. And they're clean. There's another bank of them over there that someone's doing laundry. Okay, we are in Anchorage, which is essentially a cruise port, which also means Filipinos. So, Filipinos everywhere here. There's a um, Asian restaurant that says, have a rice day. Uh, we're gonna eat at Bahai Kubo over here in the corner and there is a Manila big shop over here along with an Asian market so we'll report back in regards to how Bahai Kubo is and I will probably get stuff to go because Walter is leaving back for Vegas for 11 days Okay, we just finished a wonderful meal. I ended up getting lichong koale to go and also sinigang baboy. And then I had the nuguan and Walter had the grilled beef over rice. Delicious. In Anchorage. Bahay Kubo, good Filipino restaurant, completely new. Eggs in a bag, 
Again, don't know what this is. Doing bag, bag, what is this? Eggs in a bag. Eggs in a bag. Eggs in a bag, yes. How many would you like? Two or three eggs? Oh, we can have three. Okay, we're squishing the bag. I can't do it okay, because this my is an RV is thing. Scrambling, apparently. scrambling we're the eggs. Scrambling the eggs. Break up the yolks. We'll break up the yolks. Oh, he's been told. He's trying to, t he's trying to video and talk and work at the same time. <laughs> We scrambled the eggs. Are you sure? <laughs> Break it up real good. We scrambled the eggs. Now we have all these choices. I'm ready to break eggs, folks. I don't find a lot of we squished it all up, scrambled it. I don't know what they're going to do with it next. Okay. This is Anne. She's explaining to me how this is done. <laughs> got the air all out of it? No. You got air in it. We got air. Oh, we got to take the air out. Okay, Keith just drops it in hot water. Anchorage, we're gonna have lunch at Mongolian Barbecue. You like Mongolian Barbecue? Hopefully, this one's good. Okay, comes with soup, rice. Did you get the rice yourself? Yeah, the rice is up there. Twin Dragon Mongolian Barbecue here in. Anchorage, delicious. Very good. Yes. Here we are at Potter Marsh, and supposedly somewhere here we can see salmon. I don't know. I think the front desk was just placating me. Okay, here we are walking in a marsh, and we're walking this way because Walter asked Europeans who I don't really think spoke English very well where the salmon was. So here we are walking this direction is a bunch of Europeans who don't speak English well. They're all coming, they're coming from the ocean. Yes. So these are only female salmon? No, male and female. Oh, they else come too. See, look, here's one coming upstream in the middle. They're, oh, he got swept back in. He'll fight it. He'll make it. Apparently, they're, they're over there. That's where they're going to spawn. Go up there next. Apparently, where they spawn and die. There's several underneath us, wedged in between rocks and logs. So, there's dead fish down there. Oh, there's some swimming upstream from here. I can see it. See, there's one right there. See the little one? Oh, right below that. you? That's tiny. Well, it's the tiny. There's several. They're not all the same. <gasps> oh, look. There's there's one caught on a branch. You see it? You see the branch? Yep. Okay, they need to cut some of this grass and trim some of the trees. So we can see it better. It's all about us. Yes. Okay, now that we've seen, what is it called? Spawning? 
Now that we've seen spawning salmon, it's hot out here. It's in the high 70s here in Anchorage right now. We're gonna go back to the car, sit in air conditioned environment, and go back to the rig. Go back into Wanda. The rig is an RV, RVology, RV. And wait for 5.30 when they're going to make us dinner. I don't know what kind of dinner they're making, but it's part of the tour. Okay, so this is Potter Marsh here in Anchorage. Where they have salmon swimming upstream and spawning and dying. And no fishing. No fishing. No fishing allowed. Yeah, our, some of our tour group is going, is halibut fishing today. And it's like a hundred, it's over a hundred dollars just to go fishing. I don't understand it. Why don't you just go to a, a store and go, I want that one. But I'm not a fisherman. So, good for them. Here we are walking in the wilderness. Altar's up there. Tired. I need to sit down. Too much nature stuff. Uh, they've got flowers everywhere, which is so nice. Lovely. So, would I stay here again at Golden Nugget RV Park in... Where are we again? Anchorage. I would stay here again. I would ask for a pull-through. Only again because I'm still not proficient with backing up. But they have pull throughs, they have a lot of it. I'm sure it's a higher price. But again, I don't know how much we're paying for these RV parks because it's all included as part of the tour package. But I would stay here again. And the Posco is literally across the street from that signal light over there. It's a Costco. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.